today we're getting our hands dirty. Well, not really, but we're definitely talking about dirt, rocks, and everything in between. We're going to explore how the Earth's landforms, mountains, valleys, plains, and more are created and changed over time. Spoiler alert, nature and humans are both really good at reshaping the planet. Let's jump in. First off, let's talk about tectonic forces. Imagine the Earth's crust, like a giant jigsaw puzzle made of huge pieces called tectonic plates. These plates are always moving, slowly but surely. Sometimes they crash into each other, sometimes they pull apart, and sometimes they slide past each other. When plates collide, they can push land upwards to form mountains, like the Himalayas, which are still growing today. On the flip side, when plates pull apart, they can create rift valleys, like the Great Rift Valley in Africa. So tectonic forces are like Earth's way of building and breaking things, one massive piece at a time. Next up is weathering and erosion. This is like nature's slow motion way of wearing things down. Weathering breaks down rocks into smaller pieces. Think of it as nature's hammer and chisel. It can be caused by wind, water, ice, or even plants. Once the rocks are broken down, erosion comes in and moves these pieces somewhere else, usually by wind, water, or ice. Over time, weathering and erosion can turn mighty mountains into rolling hills, and rivers can carve out deep canyons. It's like nature's way of sculpting the earth, one little piece at a time. Then there's deposition. While erosion takes things away, deposition is all about putting them somewhere new. When a river slows down, it drops the sediment it's been carrying, which can build up to form landforms like deltas those fan-shaped areas where rivers meet the sea. The Mississippi River Delta is a great example. Deposition can also happen with wind, creating sand dunes or glaciers, leaving behind piles of rocks called moraines. It's nature's way of rearranging the landscape piece by piece. Let's talk about glaciation next. Glaciation happens when large areas of land are covered by glaciers, huge, slow-moving rivers of ice. Glaciers are like bulldozers. They carve out valleys, move rocks, and even flatten mountains as they creep along. When glaciers melt, they leave behind all sorts of interesting landforms, like U-shaped valleys and fjords. Glaciation has shaped huge parts of the world, especially during the ice ages, and even today. Glaciers are still changing the landscape in places like Greenland and Antarctica. Now let's see how humans get involved with mining. Mining is when we dig into the earth to extract valuable minerals, metals, and fossil fuels. While mining can give us the resources we need, it also changes the landscape, sometimes in pretty dramatic ways. Open pit mines, for example, can create huge craters, and mining can lead to erosion and pollution if not managed properly. So while mining is essential for things like building materials and energy, it also comes with some serious environmental challenges. Another big human activity is land reclamation projects. This is when we create new land by filling in areas with rocks, sand, or soil. It's like playing Minecraft, but in real life. A famous example is in the city of Dubai, where they've built entire artificial islands like the Palm Jumeirah. Land reclamation is also common in places like the Netherlands, where people have been creating new land from the sea for centuries. These projects can be amazing feats of engineering, but they also raise questions about environmental impact and sustainability. So what's the big takeaway? The Earth's landforms are constantly being shaped and reshaped by natural processes like tectonic forces, weathering, erosion, deposition, and glaciation. But humans are also playing a big role in changing the landscape through activities like mining and land reclamation. Whether it's nature or humans at work, the landforms we see today are just snapshots in a much longer story of change. That's it for today's geography lesson. Next time you see a mountain, valley, or even a sand dune, remember there's a whole lot going on behind the scenes to make it look that way.